Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out Passerby. This game is by Niven Hedinger on Itch.io. We have played a variety of other games by this developer. Perfect Spot, Final Contract, Incoherence, which might be my favorite of the ones that we've played. Um, and we also did Unseen Trace. This developer has made a lot of games. So if you like this one in any way, make sure to check out their other content. Passerby is a short, confined story of a lone traveler, Nathan, who ventures across an abandoned city. The story unfolds throughout the gameplay. The developer does give us a content warning for mild gore and themes of violence, so if that isn't something you can handle today, maybe come back tomorrow or check out another video on my channel. But for the rest of you, let's hop in. My name is Nathan. I am a loner wandering through a desolate and shattered world. For me, it was always a dark, unforgiving wasteland. Difference is that now it is overrun by infected monsters. Nobody knows exactly what happened. After the fallout, people started forming factions, different groups to survive. I always felt like an outsider, and now I became a passerby. I know that my fate hangs in the balance, and that it could be severed at any moment by the horrors that lurk in the darkness. Well, sprint jog interaction. Yet another deserted town. I hope I can find something useful around here. Ooh, I'm getting 3D find shelter. Well, I guess it is 3D, but uh, Project Zomboid. I'm getting Project Zomboid vibes. Maybe a little seven days to die. Whoa. Are you something I can acquire? Why do you rotate? That's interesting. I like the colors. Actually, one of the most interesting things about this world for me is these little particle effects that are happening. They look so interesting and weird. Hello. Oh, can I not actually go inside? Invisible wall? Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh gosh, Saki, what have you done? Oh, whew. The air is filled with the stench of decay. People are more aggressive than the infected creatures. There's nothing left of this town besides crumbling buildings and trash. I tried to care about the situation, but why bother? Every day I get closer and closer to ending it all. Maybe one day I can find the courage to do so. I don't know. I think it takes more courage to try and survive in this kind of environment. Not to say that that choice isn't a hard one to make. Just in case. It's a very pretty game. I love the color palette being used. Everything is very muted apart from the primary colors. No exit. Interesting. I don't understand why those pop up, but they do. The mouse is super sensitive. Ooh, letter. Note. The keys on the shelf open the locked door of the building by the road. Stay inside, wait for night to pass, and then do whatever you do. Or do ever, and then do whatever you want. Do not go outside at night. If you are reading this, that means I am already gone. But if you still have a chance to survive. But you still have a chance to survive. Good luck to all. Interesting. He's acquired. I wonder what happened to him. Oh, this is like a row of trees and shrubbery. It looks good. I mean, I suppose anything could have happened. Monsters. The group of baddies that were mentioned earlier. Spooky. It's like power generation? You know I gotta look for more notes. Hmm. What building? I suppose we'll find it. Oh, this one? Ooh. This one's open at least. A silo? We'll go in first. Oh, it must be to here. Okay. Oh no, I can't close that. 
Surprised there's no one here, but I like just how empty it is. Oh my gosh, I really am getting Project Zomboid vibes. Just in case, you never know. You never know. Man. I would be so anxious about someone looking through the cracks in the boards. Why is that telling me to rest? Oh, this used to be an arcade, I guess. That's fun. I would probably make a row out of those so no one could see me. Ooh. Amidst all the struggles, I refuse to give up on my dream. One day I will stop hiding, scavenging for scraps, rationing the supplies, and I will move away from this cursed town. Open up a restaurant at the end of the world where people rejoice, have fun, and remember that not everything is lost. One day. These letters from me? Am I leaving them? It is so empty, but I like it. It feels nice. Looks cozy. I should look for supplies. Usually I find stuff in the trash. Um. Oh. Sheesh. What happened to you? I guess you're a zombie. You look cool. I don't think it's very safe to be here. I wonder if those little pieces of wood or whatever from the trash indicated that I could search it. Okay. There was one. I don't remember. I gotta look back here, just in case. The writing is good so far. I like the notes. Scattered pages of a diary. This makes me want to play Penumbra. I've not played that game series in a long time. I think I brought it up on the channel a few times, but... Honestly, they were some of the first horror games that I ever played, so I think about them all the time. There is a trash bin down there. This leads out of town, but it's all hedged up. Oh, it gets smaller and smaller. I found rubber tubing, empty food containers, and nothing else useful. Boo! I really want to get in there, but... You saw what happened when I tried. Trash bags over there. Spam, spam, spam. Look like a fiend. Torn clothing scraps and dented cooking pots can be used, I guess. Scraps is misspelled. Like, like on you? I definitely have to move like in this area, I think. What scraps? I guess this town was empty before the fallout. Of stuff? Or... Like, in general. I'm tired and it's getting dark. I should go back to the shelter and sleep in the bed. Okay. Get some electricity going. Play those games. Haha. -ha. I didn't forget. I'm still worried about this guy up there, though. Time to EP. I just sleep. Good night. Oh. Someone is at the door. Who could it be at this time? I should be careful. Yeah, I should be careful. 
Check the door. I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. There's so many dudes out there. Oh my gosh, look at them. There's so many. No, I would not be opening that door. You would knock on the door when that is going on out there? I don't think so. Well, you're still there, so that's something, I guess. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We just opened that like we did not give up. Looks like someone is hurt. I should be carefully careful following this blood trail. Oh my god. We're very we're very nice. For a little guy that can just get murdered by these things. Well, you're still alive. Hey buddy. Please help. I was with a group and got lost. I got a walkie-talkie with me and dropped it near the police station. Please find it. Maybe you need to get inside, dude. This is where I would get my stuff, help the guy inside, and then go check it out. Is the yellow building the police station? No, it's over there. All right. Ooh, I feel a little tense. I like this. Can I crouch? No. Do not witness me. Do not witness me. I'm a little guy. Is there? I don't see anything over here. So we'll take the long way. Around the outside. Oh, there's one there. Hello. Did my light go off on its own? Oh, there's so many. Hmm. You're facing me. Hi. Wait, I had so much trouble getting in here before. Maybe I should have gone to the back. Suspicious. Oh, there you are. Where would you be, I wonder? Near the police station, huh? Are you guys like wandering away? Good. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, just keep just keep going through that corner of the building. Don't mind me. Okay, bye. I guess we'll go back to him. Thankfully. No zombies over here. Uh-oh. There's one in there now. No, don't go that way. He'll get the guy. Don't mind me. I'm running as fast as I can. Uh, buddy? Here? Alive. Hey, I found it. You are covered in blood. Thanks for helping me and dragging me out of here. It's very cozy and safe. Yeah, no problem. Um, I hope you did not get infected. Looks like you lost a lot of blood. No, no, that's not mine. I actually met someone on the way here and they were pretty aggressive. You know, we have to survive no matter what. And we got into a fight. They lost. And then it got dark. Like I said, I'm with a group of people and we share a certain ideology around here. Wait, wait. Why were they aggressive and what happened to them? We had a disagreement about my offer. 
I did rush some things because it was getting dark and I proposed to them to join my group and they refused, saying that I was insane or some shit. Maybe they did not want to be a part of the group and they were a passerby like me, but what exactly did you tell them? People around here do not get aggressive for no solid reason. I personally find it hilarious, but my group likes to hunt. We gather supplies and mostly survive on meat. Meat? Where do you get meat at this time? We all know that the infected are spreading more and more. The air is polluted and there's no way. Wait. Do you hunt infected monsters and eat them? No way. You think we're savages? Not at all. We hunt for fresh meat every single day. Uh, I thought you would be smarter than this. Come on. We are cannibals. Listen, relax, okay? We already got our share for today. And I guess you're the lucky one. Get the fuck out. I have a gun in my bag and I swear I will shoot you. Whoa, whoa, relax. I'm not going to hurt you. If you want, you can join my group. If not, I can leave. I will not join your mind-fucked group. Get the hell out, asshole. I'm warning you. All right, all right. I'm going. Sorry if I made things uncomfortable, all right? I will just stand up and leave. But I have to say that my group is already here, and I wish we had more time to discuss this. Well... You know, this is just a reminder if you're in a post-apocalyptic scenario not to do anything that would get you killed. Uh, don't be nice and friendly to strangers. Not a bad game. I like it. I like the sound design is good. I like the visuals. Everything looks really good. I like the particle effects. They look pretty good. The layout of the city is small, but I like it as well. I think maybe... Instead of being surrounded by shrubbery, it would be cool to see the city kind of expand out or be a little less clustered with skyscrapers in the middle because it would be more interesting to see maybe something a little bit more rural to make the enclosed area feel, I don't know, like it makes a little more sense. Um, very cool to see little zombies wandering around. They weren't an issue, but it does make you wander the outskirts, so it feels good. I like it. Let's see, what else? The story is okay. I mean, it's a pretty standard zombie end of the world trope. You have it in stuff like The Last of Us and The Walking Dead and stuff. It, it feels very on par with what you would expect from the genre, so I like it. Um, I probably like this one second most of all of the games that I've played by Niven. Maybe Incoherence I liked more just because it felt very artsy and very interesting, both thematically and visually, but this one is probably my second favorite out of all of them. I like it. If you would like to play the game yourself, please check out the itch.io link down below. If you check out Niven's profile, you can see all of the other games that this developer has made. They've made quite a few, so I'm sure you will find at least one or two that you really like. But thank you so much for watching. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.